Tell me, baby, why you look like that? Walk like that, talk like that. You move it different, so you push me back and you want me back, but you hurt me back. Yeah. Hey everyone, today is a different kind of video. I feel like as a person with any little bit of platform, I wanted to use my voice to speak out. Um, and I also wanted to address some things too. I feel like in the feminine energy community, we can sometimes make the argument that it's us against masculine women or it's us against masculinity and I just wanted to come on here and kind of let y'all know like masculinity and femininity exist in all people um whether you choose to tap into it or not I am only against masculinity when it is when it has become toxic meaning it's keeping you from jobs it's keeping you from making friends it's keeping you from falling in love it's keeping you from having a better relationship with your kids with your family with your spouse that is what I am against however with the climate of what's been going on if you don't know um George Floyd was murdered in Minneapolis and since then basically the country has been on fire there have been protests riots looting I specifically classify them differently because people who riot don't necessarily loot and people who loot are not protesters like these are all very different things um, but I wanted to kind of come on here and just address everything because as someone with a platform I did want to speak out like this is fucking terrible you know and as a black woman and that's who I do these videos for is women that come from my community that understand what it is like because even though you are a woman when you're black it's a whole lot different it is a lot more um harsh especially the world loves to make us masculine and I want to address B Simone because she is now getting canceled on Twitter saying that um, I'm going to ask myself what would Jesus do not what an angry black woman would do I am angry but I am also true tr uh, trying to be godly basically explaining why like first she wasn't saying anything about what happened with George Floyd and then now she's like mysteriously at a protest but even then she still you know she doesn't want to be an angry black woman and it just really bothers me that especially in the feminine energy community we will use that of like an angry black woman as an excuse to not fight for your community i am not saying that you should be angry all of the time i want to make that very clear you should not be angry all of the time because that is when it becomes toxic when you're angry with your kids you're angry at your husband you're angry at your job you are angry all of the time that is not right however when someone has been killed murdered by law enforcement who is paid to protect the community excuse me and we have seen this happen for years like and he's not even he's just the most recent one is the sad part like Breonna Taylor let's also re remind you that this happens to black women too so I just I wanted to I noticed none of the feminine energy videos or excuse me the feminine energy channels that I have watched or follow have said anything about what is going on and I just wanted to let y'all know I am not that channel I am a black person first and I want to make that very clear do I think being angry all the time is positive no but when injustice is happening being silent makes you just as complicit as the people that are doing the action. That is how I choose to live my life. And that's why I want to use this platform to, to tell people that you have a right to be angry. You have a right to be upset. You have a right to be hurt. Because look at what is happening. And if you know any ways to donate or any ways to get involved, please write it in my comment section and I will pin it so everybody can see it. Um, I'm not monetizing this video because I, it's not about that. Like, I just wanted to come on here and really address it because one, I think a lot of feminine women have not said anything and I don't agree with that as someone who is a black person, who has a black brother and a black dad and a black grandfather and black cousins and black friends like I would know <laughs> and you know I also wanted to come on here because as someone with even a little bit of a platform if I can bring awareness or help in any way I would like to do so and I challenge these other feminine energy youtubers that y'all love so much that sometimes I feel push a certain narrative of femininity that is homophobic <laughs> 
and it's more about money and looking cute than it is about actually fixing yourself and working on yourself as a person, I challenge you to into those feminine energy channels. I'm calling you out. I'm challenging you. Speak up about it. It's not enough to, oh, I'm going to like a post or whatever. I want you to, my camera works this. I'm sure yours does too. Speak up about it because you say these videos are for black women. Black men are in our community too. Black kids are in our community too. Black people are in our community too. Speak up. And that's all I have to say.